Growing concern and anger tonight on word that not one but six people in Shelby County died over the weekend, probably from opioid overdoses. Thanks for joining. I'm Richard, joining us. I'm Richard Ransom. And I'm Katina Rankin. All six deaths could be from one bad batch of heroin. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broders is live at the Shelby County Health Department with tonight's top story. Brad. Good evening, Richard and Katina. Addiction experts said the six overdose deaths is six times the normal average for a two-day period, and doctors strongly believe there's a common ingredient taking those lives. And it's, it's a hard way to, to lose somebody. Memphis community activist Paul Gardner is grieving after his friend died this past weekend, one of six suspected overdose deaths in Shelby County. I've moved from being sad to mad to sad and then just kind of confused. Garner believes a toxic batch of heroin is linked to at least four of the deaths. So if there are people out there that are still holding on to some of the supply, please get rid of it. Like we, we just don't want, need to lose anybody else. It's a terrible tragedy. That concern of dangerously laced heroin echoed by opioid expert Dr. Ted Bender at Turning Point Addiction Campus in South Haven. IV drug use, heroin especially, and with the risk of having fentanyl laced into it, every single time you use is like playing Russian roulette. Dr. Bender said fentanyl, a separate opioid mixed with heroin and other drugs like cocaine, can kill users within minutes. Every chance you use heroin that has potentially laced with fentanyl could be your last. Now this year to date, Shelby County health leaders recorded about 150 opioid related deaths. That's close to the pace of a record 207 lives lost in 2017. If you or you know someone is dealing with opioid addiction, log on our website, localmemphis.com and click on the find it tab. Reporting live in downtown Memphis, Brand Broders, Local 24 News.